Hello everyone and welcome to this Groovy Geometry tutorial series. In this particular tutorial, we will learn about JSR223 sampler in detail. So let's begin. The JSR223 sampler in the GMeter allows user to write the custom scripts in the multiple languages like Groovy, Bing Shell to enhance the test execution. It is widely used for the dynamic test cases, logic manipulation, and the performance optimization. Now you might be wondering that what is this JSR and what is this 223, right? So basically, if we talk about this one, so JSR stands for Java Specification Request. Now this specification request is a part of Java Community Process, which is known as JCP, to define new Java standards. Now, when we talk about JSR223, it specifically refers to a scripting for the Java platform, a specification which allows Java applications like JMeter to support multiple scripting languages within the Java environment. So that's why we are using this JSR223 sampler while writing the Groovy scripts within the JMeter. Right? I hope you got the point now. What is JSR223 sampler? Now, why we need to use this? It executes custom scripts for the complex logic, provides better performance than Binshell sampler, supports multiple scripting languages, and Groovy is definitely recommended one. It enables dynamic test execution using variables allows manipulation of request, response, and the test flow. So there are some multiple benefits of using the this particular JSR223 sampler. Now let's go to the JMeter and inside the JMeter we will see the different options available in JSR223 sampler. Now in JMeter what we need to do is that we need to go to this test plan, right click on this one, go to add go to thread group now inside this thread group we'll right click again add sampler and then jsr223 sampler click on this one now you see that we have a multiple options over here the multiple things name comments the language parameters script file file name there are so many things here so let's discuss these things one by one. So the first thing is the name over here. So you need to define a custom name. So for example, you have written a script to log some information. For example, you need to log a user data, right? So log underscore or maybe log data or something like that, which actually tells you why you used this particular JSR223 sampler. Then comments are used to add a notes or the description about this script. So for example, if I change it to log data and here I say this script will use to log user information from sign up page so this is just a randomly added a comment so tomorrow if i open this one i totally understand okay why i added this particular sampler and what is the purpose of using this script in my test plan okay now here's the scripting language you can select the multiple languages we are using the way so that's why we are by default is and, and you know why groovy is by default selected because it is recommended that's why we are learning the groovy over here but in case if you want to work on any other language like being sure something you just go here and select the being sure from here right then we have this parameters section parameter pass to script what does it means so basically we will use this to pass parameter to the script which we will write over here okay and we can access these parameters 
by providing the arguments just like this one aux and then type this one we will see this in our upcoming tutorials but right now I understand this we use these parameters this particular field to use the parameters we can access by the arguments right so this is this is the purpose of this particular field then we have this script file so for example you have written a very long script and you don't want to write it completely over here so what you can do is that you can write in a file and then you can import or open this file here right then it would be easier so basically we will be specifying an external file instead of writing the code here there's a difference right and this is when you have a very large script that's this the scenario when you should use this external one okay and then we have this cache compile script if available by default is stick so what it means that it enables caching of the script so whatever we write it will cache that script and when we use the caching mechanism so basically it will pick up the things from the cache instead of executing on the runtime which gives us a better performance so my recommendation is that always check this one when you are working with the scripts and then finally we have this script area where we can write our logic we can write our groovy script in our tutorial series right and when when let's summarize the best practices for this jsr sampler always use groovy this is my recommendation always use cache use jmeter variables properties and response data for the test interaction log messages during debugging to identify the issues so in our first tutorial i told you that how to log information right so logging of that information and the purpose of logging the information is to debug the scripts so i want to see what is happening with the script right so that was the purpose and when we talk about you know using this jsr sampler so when should we use the question interviewer might ask you that when you should use this one so generating a dynamic data we'll see those things adding uh, conditional logic before sending a request extracting a response data for sessions manipulating jmeter variables dynamically so these are the main reasons right when you should use the jsr223 sampler so if i need to conclude today's tutorial so jsr223 sampler in jmeter is a powerful tool for adding script logic to the performance test it follows the jsr223 specification allow multiple scripting languages with groovy being the recommended choice for the speed and efficiency so this is the summary of this today's session which is about jsr223 sampler Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share, and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much, and see you in the next tutorial.